You're great. You're great. You're great. You're great. You're great. Hey, Derek, you're great. Are we going to have nicknames for each other each episode? You're great. Oh, you're great. I'm under boob. That's the original. That's the OG. So you're, you're Nev so Nips. Great. I'm under boob. Oh, wait. Really let's good. not give away the studio production value we have here. It's pretty, pretty low. You're yeah, <laughs> probably going to sing anyway, so we might as well just use it. That's a good point. I'm... This is all about you. You're girl. great. What? You're great. You're great. You're great. You're great. Jen's great. Jen, you're great. Thank this is how you. this works. You're super great. Okay. You're so, super awesome. Stop it. You're so making me uncomfortable. I'm falling in this chair. You're going to have to get used to it. Get <laughs> used to it. This whole, this whole podcast is about being uncomfortable, but positive. Yes. I'm in the fetal position. <laughs> well, we're going to feed you croissants, <laughs> and then we're going to tell you you're great. So <laughs> you better deal with it. <laughs> Enjoy it. This is like uh, being on Ellen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly the same, actually. Mm. Yeah, the same amount of people will follow you on Twitter after mm. this. So. Where are my gifts? <laughs> yeah. Ellen can't always sh- gives check gifts. Check under your chair. No, um. This chair is pretty big. <laughs> You'll find big. the other half of that croissant. <laughs> oh, yum. <laughs> I'm Monica Nevy. And I'm Mike Coletta. And this is the Hug Life Podcast. This is our podcast. It's on iTunes. It's on Stitcher. It's on Racketeer Radio every Thursday at 7 p.m. That was an interesting. Where are you looking? That. I was looking up. <laughs> okay. Look, always thinking. looking up, you know, staying positive. Trying to be optimistic. We have a great guest today. <laughs> we do. So Jen excited. Siemens here. Yeah. Hello. Hi, Jen. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Uncomfortable. On this what? Eye contact. <laughs> I'm really bad with eye contact. You are? Let's yeah. talk about that. I'm curious about that. Why? Let's oh. positive spin eye contact. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's start right now. <laughs> I guess I just don't think I'm worthy. You're worthy. Well, you are. Yep. You're hey. super worthy. <laughs> well, you're doing eye contact without <laughs> blinking, and that's just creepy. That is what creepy. Is it? Why, why, why is this creepy? <laughs> <laughs> that's all I do. Ooh. That's how I live my life. Because I'm just thinking about how dry your eyes are when you're staring at people And I'm wearing contacts, like too, so it's oh. a double whammy of dryness. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can I'm you be moist? <laughs> Can't you be moist eyes? Can't you be moist? Um, don't Loop forget to, to rate and review and subscribe to the show on iTunes. Yeah. That's important. We do our plugs up top, all this stuff. So that's oh, exciting. Yeah. We'll forget. Otherwise. This is super exciting for you, I'm sure. In fact, we're going to plug our shows. We didn't tell you that. I'm sorry okay. about that. Yeah, I did. You did? Mm-hmm. Okay. You have a show to plug? Um, I have a calendar. It's on my laptop. Oh, you do? And there are shows. But you go, have a website. Yeah, go to jenseaman.com. There you go. Spell it the right way, please. Yeah, spell it the right way. Because I couldn't afford Is the other a- Jenseaman. Oh. <laughs> oh. I, uh, <laughs> we're all like, oh. Ooh. I, at February 14th, I'm at the Madhouse Comedy Club in San Diego. Go to that. It's on Valentine's Day. Valentine's. Mm-hmm. It's a different holiday, actually. Valentine's I don't know if you Day. It's also my mother's birthday. Oh, that's, that's a neat. fun picture. Yeah, super neat. Oh, uh, we like your website. This Sunday, oh, I'm gonna yeah. look up your dates for yeah. you. Oh, <laughs> Jen's website. If you just I haven't enjoy updated fun. them for a while. Okay. What yeah, we mean? have a bunch of. Oh, I do have a thing. I have a. I have a lady. Uh, I have an improv show with two other ladies. They're okay. super fun, and we're called Public Frenemy. Public Ooh. Frenemy. And that's uh, every Tuesday on the main stage at IO West. At IO West. Okay. At six thirty. Six. All right. Six forty. There you go, Los Angeles. <laughs> Get there. Cool. Monica, awesome. what are your shows? Uh, this uh, Sunday, February 7th, I am at the Madhouse Comedy Club in San Diego. Oh, I see a trend. Yeah. Yeah. And Why so far apart? A week apart? Yeah. I know this is how they booked us. Yeah. We're torn apart. I'm hosting it. Mm. Headliner Jay Hollingsworth on the Super Bowl Sunday and the day after my birthday. So. Oh, Super Bowl's mm-hmm. happening? I don't even know who's playing. Yeah, on February 7th. You want to mm-hmm. know who's playing? Yeah. The Denver Broncos versus the Carolina Panthers. Do I like those things? Mm. I don't know. It's no. up to you. They're not the Seahawks. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're not a football fan? Yeah. You don't have to be. It's I fine. only watch the commercials oh, no, you have and to be, the nip so. slips. The commercials and the nip slips? That's, that's all I are, see. That's my favorite part of football is the nip slips. This nip slips? You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what a nip slip is? No, I know what a nip slip is, but I sure? haven't noticed it <laughs> in NFL football. It's the fucking halftime show. Oh, oh that's can't curse. Yeah. My, oh, yeah, yeah. I thought Sorry. this was like Hug Life, so I was like, everything. That's what everyone thinks. We should we should call it like motherfucking Hug Life. You know what I mean? So then people are <laughs> I like, still we get figured it. figured out how to get the explicit E to show up on the podcast <laughs> on iTunes. <laughs> so there so are some very disappointed parents that are like, damn it. They get super bummed out. Pretty, uh, you right there? yeah. You guys are all without shoes, so I thought I'd get super comfy. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's totally yeah. Nice. I got yeah. polka dot socks. Eye contact, no shoes. Go. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Mike, do you want to do you want to tell <laughs> why you don't have any socks on? Are oh, there? I got a pedicure today. What? I went yeah. to a nail place. Look at how shiny my nails are. My oh my god! With uh-huh. Mitch Burrow. Are you looking? I didn't go. I've gotten a pedicure a ring <laughs> with the Gales, Douglas and. It oh, feels like nice. Gale, that sounds yeah. fun. Like a like a three way pedicure is that a yeah? Is that I, a I, thing? I just me and Mitch when we went and the li- like, really now weird I hate annoying that lady that was with us that was just sitting there butting into our lives. That was Did with. Oh wait, legs? I thought she worked there. No, she oh. was getting a pedicure and a manicure, and then we Ooh. mentioned. Uh, uh, like everything we talked about, she just butted in. Like she just butted in. That's to it. that's salon. Because I'm like, do you want to go get a drink? I'm going go to the gas yeah. station and get a drink. And she's like, you should go to the Vietnamese place next door. They have great drinks. And I'm like, well, I'm trying to go get cash back. She's like, well, they have an ATM here. And I'm like, I don't think you will ever financially understand where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, that's we're not at on right the now. same. <laughs> You're not level. understanding me saying I want cash back, not a surcharge. She's like, well, you me. paid the extra six dollars to shine them up, so maybe I that's really, why. No, I thought the f- I paid the extra six dollars to get them buffed, my toesies. Okay. <laughs> But this is I a real thing turned happened. down the foot massage because I thought the foot massage was money too, but the foot massage is free and the buff is six dollars. Yes. I'm dumb. <laughs> I haven't gone a uh, pedicure in a while because I think I have psoriasis on my feet and I'm super embarrassed. Like, don't touch my so feet. So you don't want to go tomorrow? Is what you're saying? Oh, cool. But you've already buffed. Yeah, you've already get, been I gotta, buffed. I got to do it every day, though. You gotta... What? <laughs> I am so not girly. I wear dresses. No, that's not even close to true. He's being a dummy. I wear dresses, but that's just yeah. so my thighs don't, like, you know, rub up against each other. Dude, I feel yeah, I know that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It creates a horrible live, little rash of bumps. Is that why you wear dresses? Right, that's why I wear dresses, So your, your thighs don't rub against each other? Spanks are beautiful. Yeah. Like, guys, are they there, should are make... Are there man spanks? They're this bicycle shorts. Spanks. Just bicycle shorts? Just bicycle I mean, shorts. guys, athletes wear, like, spandex. Like, really? same thing. Prevents chafing. Yeah. It prevents that ugly, like rashy thing that happens, Dude, and you're you like, I guess baby already. powder. You've 100% I guess, sold I me guess on baby this. powder. <laughs> I don't know. Or you could be like me when I was in college and just take like a lady speed stick and rub it all over your legs and hope for the best. That <laughs> is heard, an amazing. I've story. heard that's like a good tactic, though, from multiple people I've heard. My mother told you that one time. Uh, oh, really? She has yep. like Pam. She does like marathons and stuff, mm-hmm. so she has glide, is what it's called, and it's essentially like a deodorant stick that you rub wherever it's rubbing. You know. <laughs> Yeah, but this is just when I was going like up and down the stairs. <laughs> like, like, oh, are you, you wearing need. corduroy? No, it's skin. It's <laughs> just it's my skin. That's my skin. <laughs> corduroy skin. I wonder Ooh. that could that could catch on. Speaking that of things ripples. you could buy, because we have an Amazon. Oh yeah, now. you didn't say that. Uh, so can you buy you have an Amazon store? Like the, we, we, what we do is it is like a banner on our website. So you open we our podcast dot com. And you click on our banner. What is that again? Huglifepodcast.com. You couldn't spring for the dot org? No, we should have been an organization. But you click on the banner (laughs) and then it takes you to Amazon. You buy something from that link and then we get like 4% or whatever of what they buy. So it's just your regular shopping you would do. Send it it to me. I do the stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do do the Amazonies. Helps us pay for our website and stuff. So, Oh, that's cool. Pretty easy. I'm trying to find, what What is it called? Running Glide? Maybe. Running Lady speed stick. Glide. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be fooled. It's basically oh, there glide was a and health and beauty care. Yeah, there it is. Body glide. There it is. You can Skin get yourself glide. Some, There's some that sounds sexual. Yeah, gold bond friction defense. <laughs> it's sounds, a gold bond. I just can't get behind it. The name just creeps me out. Gold bond. Gold bond feels like what's in this? Defense sounds like the gold? hardcore industrial gold. version of it. <laughs> <laughs> Skin glide, but you can buy some of that on Amazon. Oh, those are awesome socks. Get though. it sent to your house. The Red Lion Neon Glide Compression Socks. They are very nice. I just wait at my house because I can't move until, until Amazon until comes brand. to give me Could my latest like, speed do the, the super speedy uh, delivery one. It's a Prime. Yeah, it's thing. Oh yeah, that you can do the get Prime it in two now days for free. Oh yeah, yeah. That's my husband and I uh, get now. the vegan pizza delivered. Because we are trying to do vegan. From Amazon? So they do Prime mm-hmm. Now in LA? Oh. Yeah, oh, Prime Now. Oh, shit. And you can get delivery. food? Yeah, you can get, oh, you can also get, uh, yeah, you can get food, you can get, uh, I got a mic stand and a microphone delivered in an hour. Whoa. What? For a show, because I was like, oh, shit, I don't have anything. Boom. 
done. That's amazing. I realized by putting my hands in the air on an audible audio podcast. <laughs> I could feel it. Technology. I can feel it. Boom. The hug Boom. bugs really know what's going on. They know what's happening. They know they how. Can feel it in this is Hug Central their heart Station. And bodies. They are aware. Yeah, they're very Yay. aware. They could feel it in their bodies. It looks so technical. It looks Does it? Yeah, it, it looks. looks so- yeah, well, you know, somebody who doesn't do this, it does. It looks technical. Like I think I have one of those boards at home, but <laughs> I don't you know could get one in an hour, apparently. Yeah, if yeah. You needed to. I until yesterday did not know how to hook that stuff up to my computer. Hmm. I'm trying to use it for something else, and he had to show me how to do it. <laughs> yeah, well, it's Amazon Prime now. You have to use an app. Oh, for the Prime now, mm-hmm. you have to use an app. Mm-hmm. That's good to know. Yeah, it's orange. Oh, it's an orange app? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Means get that orange app. Oh. Get stuff delivered to your house in two hours. That's crazy. And Technology's you, awesome. What? You can get it like the health food store. Like they have different stores. So you oh. can get like the 99 cent store delivered. What? And you can get like can sprouts. You get the party store. We have a party store right on the corner. We do. Is it like a like a tiny little like no, it's actually huge, and it has like all themed party stuff. It's like party, like city the type aisles of are stuff. like. Do you want to have a pirate theme party? Do you want to have a? It's pretty awesome. Yeah, actually. it's like all. Except along. the one thing I wanted to buy, they didn't have. So which was ladies' wig. Yes, yeah, so but you can get wig. that on Amazon and go through our banner. What? <laughs> Things are crazy. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah, we, we should do that. Anyways, we um, could decorate for Galentine's Day because yes. Monica and I are doing Galentine's Day. You're not invited. Sorry, you have a penis. Oh, <laughs> Don, do you want to do Penis Times Day? <laughs> Don's Don is like, no, day. I do not. I do not want to do anything with you and your penis, Mike. Don't. Not that having a this penis. This is the most expensive I, penis I've ever bought. Duden Times Day. Duden Times sounds way better than Duden Penis Times. Time. <laughs> Duden Times. <laughs> that just sounds like pooping, Shooting like a special bird. type. Like I just went I have, to. I, I don't dude think dude I can time. handle this. I have to go take a dude and die, which is when <laughs> I go to the bathroom with my cell phone. <laughs> I guess Did they call it cell phone earlier. still? <laughs> They still call them cell phones. <laughs> you say, do they still call them the kids these days? They're changing them. Still call the z- oh, that was almost a Cosby. Hey, I'm, let's I'm give, pushing backwards. Let's give everyone's oh. Twitter accounts at Monica Nevy, at me Coletta, at Jen, Jen Seaman. You got your yeah. name. That's yeah, awesome. It's S E A M A N because the other way makes you cry. Yeah. So S E A M A N. Um, also, so Seaman does. It makes you cry. <laughs> <laughs> me too, actually. So me three. <laughs> Ooh, it's a terrible <laughs> last name. My dad, every time somebody says see men instead of see man, he thinks that they're purposely calling him out and trying to ridicule <laughs> like, him. <laughs> he walked C-Men. out of like a fantastic Sam's once like, they're trying to mess with me. Call him Mark Seaman next. I was like, dad, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> they do it it's like fine. they enunciate like, hey, is there a Mark, Mark Seaman? Seaman? Seaman. <laughs> so he wants you to say it's Seaman. It's Seaman. Like he does it almost like Zoolander's merman scene. It's uh, like it's merman. It's merman. It's Seaman. <laughs> it's Seaman. Which are then maybe the same. I was like, I identify with that way too much. Also a merman. <laughs> merman. Seaman and a merman, same thing. Possibly. Yeah, I think so. Mm. I thought a Seaman was just a person that worked on a boat. Yeah, and my dad was a commercial fisherman, so yeah. Yeah, he lives his and last he was in name. The Navy, seaman, seaman, which oh. is super fun when people remind you if your brothers went to the Navy, they'd be seaman, seaman. <laughs> <laughs> like I could also go in the Navy, you narrow-minded prick, but whatever. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. Um, also, <laughs> last thing, you can like our Facebook page. You can find Jen on Facebook too. Yeah, yeah. I am also a member of the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She knows what cell phones are. And that <laughs> are going well. Is, Cellular device. That is Turn all. Turn it off if you're at a movie. That's all of our plugs. We did it, you guys. It only took 13 minutes. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> That's pretty good for us. That actually is pretty good. So we did get distracted. Yeah, we get distracted a lot, which is fine. That means but we only have 47 minutes to talk. Yeah, yeah. I know. So we but really got to speed it up really here. Fun uh, 47 <laughs> minutes. Are you buckled in? I'm just wanting to not embarrass myself. You're doing yeah. a great job so far. Yay. Mm-hmm. You're doing great. Never change. He said you're penis great. times you're day. It's, you, you yeah. Know, you're, like it's, you're no doing, matter you're doing what great. you do, Jen, I will make it 20 times worse. That's why I make people feel comfortable on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I just always do worse. That's how it operates. Um, Jen Seaman, former Seattle person, now Los Angeles person. It's good to see you. Is this the actor studio? The yeah, it is. On? Yeah, it's actually <laughs> so pretty similar. Your work in the... 
Are you going to look at Seattle that? International Comedy <laughs> Competition. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a book. Just, mm? Mm. <laughs> Once again, Fitz and Who Gags on a podcast. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's good to see you because you left. You left two years ago from Seattle? Uh, Three <laughs> years ago? No, I, th- I feel like the more he guesses, the higher it goes. Yeah, yeah. Five years You've been ago? gone for seven years You've now. You've been gone for and, 12 years. Uh, <laughs> Well, because we've been here for three, so so she has to be longer than us. Um, No, I I left about a year and a half ago. (laughs) You guys, you guys went to my wedding this summer, which was about a year into the move. And I was there. Oh, and you were like, you you saved the day at the wedding, (gasps) and now that's your profile picture with cats and explosions. Explosions to celebrate my marriage. That's why why you had the craziest wedding ever. There was cats and explosions. You guys did a great wedding, by the way. Can we talk wedding talk for a second? We could do that because I love breakfast food. <laughs> and you guys had breakfast food as your wedding reception food, and that was mwah, Thank beautiful. You. Oh, he air kissed. Um, uh, yes, air is kissed. is important to us because we love like we love Brenner a lot. Breakfast for dinner. Oh, oh yeah, that's a big thing, thing for us. Okay. When we were deciding on anything, the first thing was, well, we want breakfast, and I said I want latkes, and I never know if I'm pronouncing that right. Like potato, potato pancakes, pancakes. Yeah. the super bland, um, and I want bacon. Yeah, I had a lot of bacon. Yeah, there was a lot of bacon. (laughs) Bacon was great. What were the... I'm trying to remember some of the the tray... Or oh. d'oeuvres, because I felt a little bit like, okay, this person's going to remember me how many times I've come <laughs> back with this tray. Like, it was not. Like, pastrami, they were too good. Oh, yeah. Things. Yes. My husband's in the room, too, so I don't know if he remembers it. The nice thing was his parents paid for the food. I don't. He's, he's I don't. just like waving. No, 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 I think you guys, I but during exist. that time, you guys were taking pictures or something. We were, but or then. Or whatever. I had heard from all the other gals that Dang. had gotten married that they had a hard time. Uh, getting a chance to eat the actual food uh, because they were running around. So I uh, kept hiding myself away and eating. I was like, I've saved up so many calories for this. And I just kept eating a lot of food. (laughs) That's awesome. (laughs) They're like, they're taking pictures or Jen's just hiding and eating somewhere. We're not sure. Yeah, I'm just hiding and eating. I only have one dick for the rest of my life. Eat it. She's crying also. (laughs) (laughs) Just just crying. (laughs) Go breakfast, dick. (laughs) Give me more sausage. That's hilarious. (laughs) We... Yeah, it was super fun. Like it was. I danced. You did dance. I, I missed dance. it because I, I was eating. <laughs> <laughs> I was upstairs eating. I was so worried. Well, I have a question for you because they say it's hard when you're a bride and groom to eat at your wedding reception because you're supposed to do all this stuff. So did that's they... why I kept hiding. So you eating. kept hiding. Said that. You did. <laughs> she just said that. You did. Yeah. Oh. That was the whole. The where the whole story when she like. <laughs> He's still thinking about the lockers. You know, I know he was he was trying to remember what I have the seen. headphones on and I hear the least amount of everything. <laughs> <laughs> you can also take the headphones off, right? I could, it's I like do. he I can hear the noise. What we're have saying it. literally goes right into his ears <laughs> and it uh, doesn't make a difference. And clearer too. And I still <laughs> Oh, Coletta. I oh, <laughs> take the earphones off. Does it <laughs> matter? <laughs> but yeah, that was that was a fun time. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good Don's dad so, played his uh, Don's dad's band played. It was just Don's dad up there, like, "Hey, everybody, Pachanga." <laughs> we didn't even Casino. ask him, and he just started playing away. No, <laughs> yeah, I remember the band. They were great. Yep, there was a there was alcohol to be had. Um, mm-hmm. There were what else was there? Um, a lot of a lot of people I didn't know, mostly Don's family, and then my three families. <laughs> I have a mom and a stepdad and then a stepdad who raised me and his wife and then my biological dad who's my dad and his wife and a complex a lot family of structure. And parents. then Don's parents met in high school and have been married for like 34 years <laughs> oh, and live in the same assholes. freaking house. We're going to have a simple family, Don. <laughs> we, so wow. during the holidays, it's happy so parents. much fun. to step your family game up. Yeah. Seriously. Like we could have had five families. Now we just have four. Don't you love us? <laughs> <laughs> four families and three of them are yours? Yeah, three of them are mine. <laughs> Well, here, um, this is the thing So we're going to talk about today on the podcast because we got to save time for our... We, every episode, we try to spin something positive, okay? And uh, and this time, uh, we thought... So, with the pedicure, talking about the pedicure, okay? <laughs> talking about... Uh, well, how are we going to phrase this? We were going to say... Uh, like self-care. Self-care. Or like treating yourself. Treating yourself, Treat yourself regardless of embarrassment or the stigma behind it. Like, right, dude, so two large men getting pedicures and manicures, I went feel to like. get but a I pedicure today. Because yeah. I want to look good. 
Who are you looking good, good for? Just life Yourself. for you. I'm doing it That's for me. That's the most important part, part right? Yeah. Let me see your hands. your hands. Guys. Oh, we didn't get the manicure done. I only well, then I don't care for this. <laughs> 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 then you have the ugliest Well, then you really didn't step it up, seen. did you? Um, no, my hands are all nasty right now because I also did some gardening. So on my porch, I don't have a garden. <laughs> I, <laughs> Potting? Porch gardening? I like, so we've become obsessed right now on Netflix. They have a bunch of Food Network television <gasps> shows. I totally watch Good Eats all the time. Oh, we've been God. watching Good Eats. I love all the bread. Alton Brown perfect. was a sponsor for Heifer International. Really? He is? Yeah. Oh, oh see, this is the perfect gonna topic come for you. Gonna full circle. I remember oh. going to your parties at your house and you'd always have these really delicious food. And I would cook and, and yeah. bake for three days straight and then I would have to lay out because my back was all jacked up. Yeah. I'd be like, but I'm so glad you all came. Walk over me. Because we've come obsessed <laughs> with the show Cutthroat Kitchen. Don and I, my husband, we watch that a lot. And we, it's I have a, I have a judge I hate. I hate that one lady judge. She's so mean. And Antonia? She's, Antonia? I don't like her. We like her. We don't like. I love Jet. S- that's funny, that's what we don't like. I was like, "What's his that's name?" He's so cool. I like oh. Simon. My favorite Simon judge is the Simon the Drum Dog. Yeah, yes. I like yes, her I the best him. though. I, think. I like Antonia, Antonia. too. I she always not seems, like. She Jed. always just seems like like she's judging, and I'm like, "What is your deal? What? Why are you she's judging are you when she judges?" So yeah, she's, she's like fantastic. she's like like not judging the food, but judging the chef for like not doing something to his face or I don't know. She just right. I mean. think there being a, a judge on that show, you have to keep in mind like some shit has gone wrong. You don't know what it is, yeah, but, but something has wrong. like, I, mean, I think it's pretty obvious sometimes when it's like, oh, you used a tuna sandwich instead of uh, fresh <laughs> fish, you know? Oh, it's like, well, maybe. It's like not even, you ju- use the tuna sandwich, all of it, not just the salad. Like, <laughs> oh exactly. We were watching this an episode sushi. where they were supposed to make gnocchi, right? And this lady uh, took, the, the gnocchi. Pi- she took the potato salad, and instead of cleaning the potato, she just put the whole potato salad in. Are you freaking in. kidding? It was That's disgusting. disgusting. And then deep fried it. And then, and then deep fried it. That's not even, she made no. it. That's not gnocchi, right? Yeah. Like it, wait, I don't even like fried it. It's, gnocchi when somebody does that, I'm like you don't know what I'm like okay yeah, it's funny this. because I watch this stuff and then I start thinking about it as I'm like so I was like I have made a turkey sandwich on a croissant with cheese and store-bought turkey and a Ooh. giant potato chip bag from Costco <laughs> <laughs> just a giant potato yeah. chip bag I will say it Not does make me put random things together because I'm like whatever man I'll do it with what I got so I have like kale turkey cheese Tacos. That's what I made. It was yep, and it was tacos delicious. like taco meat or taco shells or taco like uh, just a taco pre-made. No, <laughs> Taco Bell tortillas yeah, like tortilla. corn tortillas. <laughs> did the the turkey? You made a wrap. Mm, heated it up though. But the wraps they've they've had a cutthroat kitchen wrap thing. I think they have. Yeah. We haven't finished all the way through. This is only two seasons on Netflix. We're still watching. In fact, we were watching them right before you got here. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this would be perfect because, yeah, I love... You could have got here any time today and we would have been able to say that. So (laughs) (laughs) we were watching it right before you got here. Uh, But I love, yeah, because I love... Good Eats is my favorite cooking show ever made. Like, I had the cookbook. It's fantastic. The Cutthroat Kitchen is good. Chopped is good. But now that I know Cutthroat Kitchen exists, (gasps) I feel like Chopped... Oh, no, but Tim... Oh, he's the best. Ed. Oh, his oh, name's Ed. Yeah, not Tim, Kevin. It's, yeah, it's, it's Ted, Ted, Ted Allen. Allen. Yeah, Ted, Ted Allen. Ted, uh, we're all wrong. <laughs> Don't I didn't even know. Me. It's Ed. Ted Allen. It's Ed. I was going to ask who Ted? Tim was. Yeah. Uh, I want to see. You don't know either. So I was thinking so Tim Allen, right. Ted Allen. Yeah. Maybe they're related. <laughs> Tim Allen. Ted the Food Man Taylor. As a Santa Claus yeah, three. <laughs> What's in the basket? I'm Ted the Food Man Allen here. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I love it. Shop how they do all the random stuff with the judges. They need to do that for Cutthroat Kitchen, though. I also want to see a Cutthroat Kitchen where they have four people that are not cooks, and they, or like one person that's not really a cook, and then they, the three other people don't know that. I think oh. they should do. No, I think they should do like special edition ones where it's like four comedians, four politicians. They do that on chat. I think they yeah. should do uh, all the people who've been judging all the seasons. Those four have to cook against so each other really with the same like sabotage. We'll that also that the happens on Chopped. Yeah, well, see, I don't watch that show. You guys gotta watch Chopped. I've watched a lot He's of Chopped. Watched I've watched so much Chopped. I've watched, watched so much Chopped that when I'm having a... S- funny too. What's it the is. different rules about Chopped? They, chopped is like, you don't have any... It's pretty much the same show. You just don't mess with them and they give you the... Everyone gets the same ingredients at the beginning and you gotta make the best thing out of this 
like your best thing out of this. Okay. I really love chopped grandmas because then all the grandmas are just like, oh, my grandson's going to be so happy. His nana won chopped. <laughs> like, this is super cute. I love, I love cute. chopped kids because the judges are like, regardless of what I say, you're going to cry. So here's what's wrong <laughs> with your dish. <laughs> You did great. I'm they so are happy. Dicks, you know, they're like, such dicks. There are a couple. I don't think judges. you can be a food critic without kind of being an a-hole. Yeah, you, you know? mean, that's Zachary a carry. What it was his name? Yeah, Zach. Yeah, it's like, that Zachary, guy, whoa, yeah, it's like dude, take he's, it out your ass because there's a pole in there. He's the guy that everyone <laughs> Get the hates. The spatula out of your ass. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, was it like uh, who is it that I loved on? We went to a restaurant, Butter Alex. Oh, Alex Gia. Genitalia. Je- genitalia, yeah, I love her. Genitalia, Alex, genitalia. <laughs> I love her so much. No, I don't know if I, I would go to that Scott, restaurant. Scott Conant, that's my favorite guy because apparently he has the best Italian food restaurants in the yes. country. And I'm like, I want to go. I want to go. <laughs> he was he was interviewed on WTF. It's one of my favorite WTF episodes, actually. So mm. let's plug other podcasts on our podcast. That's what great. else can I be listening to <laughs> right now? Podcasts that are already super popular. It? Am I allowed to sit in this way? Yeah, of course. Okay, you can do cool. whatever you want. You can take that chair with you. I already. I did a show to, today I and I almost did the splits on stage. So no. almost. Were you trying Just to? Or was no, that I was next? not trying to. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it. I was like, I didn't know my body could do this. Hooray! Uh. <laughs> I didn't know my body could do this. And we need to go. We need to get out of here right now. Everyone, evacuate the building. I can't stand up. <laughs> I ripped my only good yoga pants. I love. Yeah, but I knew. I think I thought I knew you'd be good because you do a lot of like. You, you're really good at cooking. <laughs> One because you have really delicious deviled eggs. That's the thing. Thank you. I do yeah. special yeah. stuff with. That's my deviled eggs. That's her specialty dish, I feel like, too. Deviled eggs is my specialty because that Seaman was the first thing eggs. I ever made was uh, when I was a little girl, my grandma would be making uh, food for Thanksgiving and she'd be like, well, she can't mess up the deviled eggs. And she would teach me how to peel them and she would never write me a recipe. She said that you have to taste it. You can't have a recipe because everything's constantly changing and you're always going to have to add stuff to it. She adds pickle juice. Um, I try to add vinegar to it. I add a little bit of sriracha, the garlic sriracha. I love to add um, ghost chilies Whoa, in some of the crazy. hotter yeah, ones. You make the hot ones. I remember you mm-hmm. said these are the normal ones and these are the hot ones. Yeah, they're pink. <laughs> you can tell which <laughs> the ones, hot ones are yeah. pink. You're like, oh, maybe I don't put that in my mouth. That looks <laughs> painful. Yeah, I actually uh, ground, I grinded, grounded the um, ghost chilies by hand. And then I washed my hands, and then I still touched my face, and it was uh, like, oh, it's like yeah. I just had a stroke. This is great. <laughs> it's all. Do you? <laughs> a ghost do you think stroke. you could do a food show like that? Could you be on Chop? Do you think? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I would love to do something exactly. like that. I mean, I hosted that filling is mutual for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was I good. brought that up. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, that was we're super we're fun. That's a cool. Into, yeah, this was just oh, this is so cute. We've <laughs> been thinking about you all day. We have. Oh gosh, really? Let's talk about Jen. <laughs> we had a bull- We actually, before you got here, we took down all the pins and the pictures of you leading Where's with six of yarn and everything. We took it all down. We took Where's it all the down. vision board about yeah. me? <laughs> There's a vision board. The Jen's even vision board. Which we, candles we rit- did you burn? <laughs> we ritualistically burn the vision board of the guest right before they get here. That's what that we do. That smells so furry. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's true. Would, you, would, so would, you, would you rather be on Chopped or Cutthroat Kitchen? Go. Uh, <laughs> Speed quiz. Speed quiz, go. Oh, um, I probably would want to be on Chopped because I think if I was on Cutthroat Kitchen, I'd be super pissy if anybody like gave me a sabotage. I'd be like, well, fuck oh, you. Yeah. Like, I would constantly be like, well, fuck you. And, this, and I've donated to your charity. This guy was like, you have to cook all your stuff in this egg sandwich machine. And I'm like, how are you not screaming at that guy? Oh, I would be. Athlete? Right. Yeah. But I actually, because I think, uh, what was I going to say? Fuck, it's gone. Damn it. All right, it's gone. It's I do. to see Alex Borcelli. Oh, I got it. Yeah. That's it? <laughs> That's her name. Was yeah, it genitalia? <laughs> Alex genitalia yeah, Borcelli. Alex genitalia Borcelli. <laughs> I'm so Borcelli. excited. I'd middle like name is hug. genitalia. I know. And then that one guy, um, what, uh-huh. Aaron Sanchez? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I'd be up. like... Let me see your hands, because there's so many tattoos on his hands. Yes, has, I didn't notice. Oh that my gosh, like his knuckles, his nut, nu- like all over. It's like a glove of tat. It's just like oh. tat gloves. Yeah, tat gloves. Yeah, he doesn't have to wear gloves in the kitchen because he got tat gloves. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Like I maybe I wash yeah, them. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Fuck you, <laughs> tat gloves. Regardless, tat gloves. they look great. So yeah. thank you. I got my manicure right before look my tat gloves. Dirty all the time. <laughs> 
Because he loves hot food, so I'd love to make him like just the hottest things I could. Do you like spicy food? Oh, yeah. See, I can't handle it very well. My dad Monica and I. Likes it, right? you yeah, like it. not like crazy spicy for it just to be spicy, but I do like spicy stuff. I like the, the flavors, you know? I'm just a big fan of the flavors. Okay. okay. <laughs> so is Cher, apparently. Cher? That's how it voice that sounded like. I'm just a big fan of the flavors. <laughs> do you believe in jalapenos? <laughs> like she has to sing every time she talks. Follow wings. <laughs> I, I really think they're not vegan, yeah. <laughs> Do you believe in cauliflower deep fried and put on buffalo <laughs> sauce? Because that's what vegan wings are. And this is my favorite thing because I love to sing on the podcast. Oh, you do? Yeah, and you're singing. He really now. does. <laughs> I'm not a good singer, but I'll I'll chime in. <laughs> Neither is I love doing this. Th- <laughs> Wait, this. what? Neither are you. That's so rude. Do you hear that? <laughs> yes, sound I did. Of our last podcast. Click. <laughs> 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 he says that every episode too. That's do I fine. still get paid in food? What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This another no, we're holding the other half of that you, croissant you hostage. The croissant now, and another half when we're done with the episode. <laughs> Baby got to earn that <laughs> croissant. It's like an advance payment. You get an advance payment. <laughs> you don't get the payment in full until the job's done. <laughs> There's not even any almond paste in this one. Nope. <laughs> I've made croissants from scratch. That is a process. It is. I've, it, oh my yeah. gosh. Is it hard? Uh, yeah, because like I'm I'm a procrastinator, so I'll start them at 8 p.m. Uh. and it's like an eight-hour process. What? And I just will sleep on the couch for a little bit, wake up and be like, I need to roll out this dough. It's an eight hour process? <laughs> because you have to let the dough rest as there's a lot of butter in it. There was some, When we were watching Good Eats and he was doing uh, cinnamon rolls, mm-hmm. it took like oh, I saw 16 that one hours. Yeah. yeah. I fell asleep during that episode. Mm-hmm. That was it bad. Was... I missed part of it. I didn't even know anything about like cinnamon and that a C. Yeah, or yeah, something. yeah. I was like, what the hell is this? Like the huge... Stock thing, and then we went to IKEA, and Don got a cinnamon roll, and I was like, "I put this no really cinnamon." Yeah, yeah, it's a different kind. Crazy, Don. Yeah, Don. He's just sitting over there being quiet. (laughs) Let's just talk to Don. He's like the least fun member. (laughs) He just left. Got up and walked out. Okay, (laughs) he's the least fun member of the Howard Stern show. Just like the guy in the corner, he might exist. You know, he might know. exist. He might exist. He might not. <laughs> they they filmed that too. Family, that's family, right. Don. <laughs> <laughs> Way to be functional. And your, <laughs> and your mom calls every other day. <laughs> well, I bet she loves you. Uh, Don. Okay. Uh, Monica? Yeah. yeah. Are you ready for the top five turnaround? Oh, yeah. Let's do the top five turnaround. Always, Where's... always ready. Okay. This is a game. It's a fun game. I pick. I, I will sit up for this. The top yeah, five. It's a game that you and I are playing. Mm-hmm. It's like the top. You're not against each other. You guys are a team. Okay. Oh, okay, but we're so against each other. I'm gonna we're give against. you the top five worst something, and then you have to positive spin it. Tell me why that's a good thing or something it. like and that. Sometimes it's really fun. Sometimes it's very hard. So let's see. Okay, so this is the top five. <laughs> it's about dicks. Yeah. Right? <laughs> the top five dicks. Yeah. <laughs> Will Chamberlain. <laughs> <laughs> Will Chamberlain. <laughs> <laughs> the Chamber best, right? Jones. I've seen Data Carvey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Top five worst dinner party guests. Okay. So I'm going to give you kind of the category this guest would fit in. Okay. And maybe you're going to say what they add to the party, why we still need them here, why we would invite them. You know Please what I mean? Please don't be in culture. Please don't be in culture. <coughs> They're not going to be people. Culture. It's like a... Okay. <laughs> you, she might fit one of these categories, but... Okay. She fits no category. Number five. <laughs> the overcritical of the dishes, so it's c- criticizing mm-hmm. what you've made, smug socialite, so everything's not like fancy enough. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, I've been friends Criticizing. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I know that person. Um. <laughs> well, I think the positive is from this is they're trying to make you a better cook in a really dickish way. Right? <laughs> yeah, they just Are wish. They? <laughs> you know what? They just wish that they could have helped you out in the kitchen. So this is their way of apologizing oh. for not being there to kind of guide you through the recipe. So maybe next time you invite them early and you make them fucking help. That's yeah. Yeah. Because then okay. who can complain about your own food? That's a great solution. That is a that's one of the best solution. solutions we've had. Pretty, actually, good job. Good. All right. Sometimes yeah. you get somewhere it's just really dark. You know, super do. positive. <laughs> There's a lot of <laughs> darkness. Right yeah. I can't. I like. Um, my husband says that I like saying my husband because it's been since August. My husband. <laughs> um, 
My agent. Name. No. My hub. <laughs> Which is weird because when it comes Hubby. to Don, I say my husband too. Is that weird? <laughs> no, no. That, he, he brings it my out in you. He brings it out in you. Third date. Don, where is he? Oh, he's Jen's husband. He's just not here yet. Um. Third date. I was calling him my husband. No. Um, I made him wait until the ninth date, actually. <laughs> the ninth date? For sex. Oh, his head just went down. Why did you go down? Nine? Yeah, I mean, because it I down. really wanted, I, I liked him a lot and I really wanted to make sure we got to know each other because I remember in high school you were you, there was that like you wanted to have sex but you were afraid to have sex because you had it um, so you got to know that person so much and I didn't yeah. have really sex well. in high school so that doesn't really apply so to me so you called him your husband before no, you had sex no I didn't sex? that was a kidding <laughs> it was a kidding <laughs> it was a joke that was, was a fun. joke <laughs> where'd you guys go on your first date our first date was eight hours and it started at like Whoa. about ten o'clock did you make croissants 10 a.m.? <laughs> no, 10 p.m. 10 p.m.? Yeah. Uh, but you did a bang. Okay. Yeah. Did you guys go play laser tag? What did you do? <laughs> we went to Cinnabar Ooh, and we watched uh, we watched six that, movies. <laughs> no, we watched one movie. It was the... Um, what movie? Schindler's <laughs> List. Okay. Side <laughs> Effects. We watched Side <laughs> Effects. <laughs> Reference Seinfeld. Uh, we saw Side <laughs> Effects. And then... When I met him, I was so excited because I felt like we had known each other for a long time, and I wanted him to put his arm around me. Ooh. And um, let's make eye contact with Dom. It just <laughs> I was just really excited yeah. by him, and he said, "You want to go get a drink in my neighborhood?" So we went to that um, at a hole, uh, at a ball. That sounded wrong. That <laughs> sounded wrong. At a hole. <laughs> <laughs> that's how this. That's how the romance started. Just Where are your hand. holes? Add one. Um, I'm just so gonna let you know ball the is a right now, <laughs> at a hole. So. At a hole like good job. Is a um, add a is add a, a pinball know. bar in Fremont, and there was barely anybody there. So we had a drink, and then we walked back to my house, and we thought there. There was an altercation in front of one of the clubs, and we thought somebody had a gun, so he pulled me aside by Quasi's, the Indian restaurant. We waited a couple beats there, and then we walked up to my house, and I was so trying... He rescued you. He saved you exactly. on the first day. Exactly. And I was trying oh, really geez. hard to be a good, like a like another kind of girl. So I said, we will drink PBRs on my porch. You are not allowed to come inside. <laughs> You're not allowed to come sir. inside. But and also, then, you can't leave. And Don's like, I'm failing. Why am I failing right now? <laughs> I am killing it right now. And then, like, uh, a couple beers in, he's like... Okay, I I really have to go to the bathroom. I was like, all right, I trust you. You can come in. And I was like, well, the sense of seal's been broken. And we then, might as well watch Netflix. And then you watched him pee. Is that and how it went? He just went through your cabinets. While you, <laughs> <laughs> you treated it like he's actually giving a, doing a piss test. You're like, I have to stay in the room with you. I while need you to go see. Pee. Let me see. What fake. are you? You are uh, you're testing positive for heroin. So uh, <laughs> it's a strong stream. Only two dates go here. Back on the porch. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, watch Netflix. What did you watch on Netflix? We watched. Uh, we watched VHS. Chopped? VHS, the horror movie. The horror movie. Oh, it's scary. And, I watched it alone. And then I had him watch my uh, favorite Twilight Zone episode, which is The Hunt, which is an elderly man uh, and his uh, <laughs> hound dog. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> it's really good. So, oh. And then I think we watched <laughs> another movie, and you started falling asleep, and it was 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh, jeez. And I was like, you yeah, probably should leave. What night of the week is this? This was like a, it had to have been like a Friday or Saturday. Oh, that's good. So it's on a weekend. You didn't have yeah, to work. and then um, mm-hmm. we didn't kiss. <laughs> <gasps> and no kiss because I didn't kiss. I was trying to be. I was like, you know what? I've been like through enough relationships. Okay. I want this one okay? to go well, so I'm not gonna kiss on the first date. And then you did you try married. to kiss her? No. And get shut down? No. It was like a oh. let's just respect each other as people. That's good. I was respectful. <laughs> what the hell was that <laughs> voice Great change? Manly voice from that's how he always talks. He's totally talking. Like <laughs> do it again, Don. Say something. I was respectful. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a little, a little Batman player, you know. <laughs> he married Batman. He's also uh, wants to know where are the drugs go. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Oh, yeah. I love you All forever. Right. Love you. That's a wonderful penis. story, and it worked out. There's hope out there, you guys. Okay. I like yeah. that story. That's a good. I met story. him when I was 31. It's nice. Yeah. So mm. don't give up yet, everybody. Yeah. Okay. I love that song by. Uh, <laughs> Garfunkel and Oaks, um, but I was like, no, I met him when I was 31. It's cool. <laughs> it's totally fine. What are we, oh, we doing the top five turnaround? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go back to the Who community. else? I just kept Who raising else a floor at shitty party? Yeah, 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 yeah. The communal plate hijacker. So let's say there's a big plate of, you know, macaroni salad or something. Mm-hmm. They have taken all of it. 
I can probably all of say it or like a portion of or it or most of it. I okay, because that's me. Say as a fat guy, I haven't, <laughs> I've taken a communal plate before. I'm not, I'm, you're not like sneaking off with it stuff. into the hallway, hopefully. Okay. But I'm saying you're taking away. It's not <laughs> having like a not everybody's gonna get some. For, for salad. being that guy, <laughs> he just steals it. Positive spinning it is that guy gets to eat well. <laughs> <laughs> positive spin on it as as the cook. What greater compliment that somebody okay. wants to eat it so I think that's a good wants to eat so much of it yeah, yeah, yeah. that y- you don't have nasty leftovers Jen's that you weren't going to eat anyway. She's two for yeah, two right she's now. really she's crushing me right now. You're really good at this game. <laughs> I am not good at this game, and I play it literally every week. So. <laughs> <laughs> you just sit there like I made mac and salad. Why <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're like I've never taken a whole plate off the table. I'm like, well, I fucking hope not. That's not <laughs> okay. Number three. The kitchen grazer. So you're still cooking away. They're coming in, picking at stuff, eating it before it's ready, that kind of thing. I have also been that person. Uh, and I can say a positive. I'm just excited to be there. I'm Top just super five to mics at a party. That's what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> well, with that person, I'm going to p- give them a job because if you want to eat, oh, I'm going to give you a bit of a job. So like maybe you're going to, well, thank you for coming into the kitchen. Here's a couple pans. I, c- could you please wash these? And then you can have this cookie or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel like yeah, I feel like I, this stuff might have happened at one of your parties. But yeah, I, I do that to people. <laughs> when people come early, I get super like inside. I get really <laughs> uncomfortable because I'm I'm never like all the food hasn't been taken out of the oven yeah. or the stove or something. As a host, you want it to all be ready and then. Yeah, I want to take pictures. Up. I'm lame. I want to take pictures of the spread. Ooh, yeah. And if it's a potluck and I've made like five or seven dishes, because <laughs> that's usually my range. I will uh, I will put everybody else's dishes to the side so I can take a picture of all my dishes. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, now now your hummus platter can come out. <laughs> <laughs> Crappy store-bought you vegetables. You can just put your that's fucking hummus steam. platter or your ambrosia that's green with the that's fucking great. marshmallows. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for going to Safeway. You really planned ahead. Ooh, I've also been that guy. <laughs> <laughs> just on the way there. I, I'm, I, I do Target that. I and I get the uh, cracker and cheese and meat tray. I do that. That like comes in bags that yeah. you have to open and then put inside the train that's great that. uh <laughs> cocktail peps anyone this is <laughs> <laughs> that's number four okay now mind you this is i didn't make this list i got it off the internet right so i don't like this person but maybe other people appreciate them i don't know but it's the icebreaker the person who when there's quiet they're like let's play two truths and a lie or some shit like that <laughs> i don't I like that like been that person i have been that person i made <laughs> oh. thanksgiving dinner for don's parents flew down here to la and then kevin addison came out and um jenny zagrino and then our buddy uh danny who was in medolo they were all there and some of don's friends um were there with their f- wife and you, their son. happy families and stuff yeah all right very oh. cute <laughs> uh and they are all there and i was like well there's some generation gap and there's a uh, um, people who don't know each other. So I was doing that stupid game on the phone that you put up to your head. That is a fun game. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's a fun game. Yeah. So I was like, let's all. You so know, you're bond. saying these people don't know each other. Yeah. Let's try to get it. Yeah, you got to yeah. make them I bond can get so everybody feels comfortable. So if you leave the room, people are like, so how do you know Jen? <laughs> you know how I would positive spin that? It has to be the right game. I think that's the way it works. It Uno. Be, okay. Uno was a great a game for everyone. Uno was a good game. That person's okay to me as long as they don't do that annoying like, as I play five fingers, everybody. And I've uh, never done anal. Who, 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 yeah, yeah, I like, I've not wanted to be that guy. Grandma's at the guy. table. I love, <laughs> take I love down playing that game with some of my lady friends that have done way too much shit. And he was just like looking at them like, and what else? What else have you guys done? I don't even want to look at your fingers anymore because now I know where they've been. <laughs> As people are grabbing food, you're like, oh, this Wash is a your different hands. situation now. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a glove of you, a tattooed glove. Ooh. All uh-huh. right, number one. Again, this isn't my list, but I think we all know one of these. Uh, worst dinner party guest is Rick. <laughs> it's just the name of a person. Really? Is you know Rick. He stays too <laughs> long. He gets drunker than everybody else. So I'm just thinking of... Uh, he makes women uncomfortable for some reason. Rick in, in Seattle. That's the only one. <laughs> that's you think. Uh, there's another Rick in Seattle that I'm thinking of, and that <laughs> seems to fit this it a little bit more. It's been before. It is. It's been fine. Yeah. Well, Rick Taylor does not count. He's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Maybe that guy's name's not Rick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Like it could be Steve. Conkler. Is his name Rick? Kunkler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a real person. Yeah, I was like, that no, person. I mean, I know he's uh, a person, but I was like, maybe it's Rich, because I get Rick and Rich all oh. the time mixed up. <laughs> that, and uh, he just, I love Rick Kunkler, but. 
I love He's a good it. guy. I yeah. love it. He went to he went to my holiday party. He wore a um, yarmulke, right? I'm pointing at my head. <laughs> of course, I'm pointing at my head, going, yeah. "Am I right? Am I right? Offensive? Rick no, okay. It's not specifically Rick Conkler, but you know. Uh, so you know good Ricks is what you're saying. Is that your positive spin? Good you're like, I know some yeah. good Ricks. Yeah. Yeah. So good Ricks. I, I mean, Ricks plus Ricks is the and name uh, of the of the place from Casablanca. Good things happen. Yeah. So, you can, yeah. Perfect. I want to know what Rick did to the guy who made this list. That's what I want to <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> Slept, like, with Slept with Slept with his wife. Oh, on the maybe. Thanksgiving yeah, yeah, yeah. dinner table. <laughs> Richard. Oh. With his children watching. Oh, man. How much time do we have? Ready for a We're at 45 minutes. We got to do oh, a quiz. Wow. We do dumb internet quizzes as a part of our podcast, like stupid BuzzFeed quizzes. <laughs> do I figure out which member of One Direction I am? Please uh, don't. Something like that, yeah. Well, actually, this one. Because <laughs> I don't even know them. I, I we, we, yeah, found, we found this one based on you, and then another one is a completely unrelated one. We usually do one related to the guest and one not related. How is it related? To me. Because it's which Food Network competition should you oh. star in on BuzzFeed? Don't question our abilities and to only, find a quiz. There's Sitting only up? Three, <laughs> Sitting there's up only for three, this. Uh, questions. Three questions. That's why we um, got another one. So the first one oh. is who is your favorite chef? And I'll try to pick a different answer because mm-hmm. uh, Alton Brown's one of them. That's all our favorites. Giada favorite. De Laurentiis. No. Alex Guarnaschelli. Uh, that, yes, her. Th- her? Giada. Uh, Tyler Florence, Ann Burrell, Alton Brown, or Bobby Flay. Is anyone picking Bobby Flay? I like Nobody's Giada. picking Bobby Flay. <laughs> Giada's, I like Giada too. I, think I like Ann Burrell, but I always so am like, I want to see your hair not Alton spiky. Brown, yeah. I just want to see your hair not spiky and see what that looks oh, like. That's oh, that's who that is. That's okay. Yeah. Hair lady? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. She just, she's, her energy is a little bit more than I can mm-hmm. handle. She's always you know? trying to create catchphrases too. Yeah. It's like, stop trying <laughs> to make so that a catchphrase. Yeah. Yeah. My, uh, my least favorite thing, uh, well, actually, my favorite thing that she's on is that Worst Cooks in America show. She's on that. Yeah. But my least favorite thing is she does kind of look like a female Guy Fieri. Just the bleach blonde oh, hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the spikes. Oh, no. That's, she's so much better of a person, and she, though. And yeah, and I, I actually don't know why Guy Fieri gets so much crap from everyone either. I feel bad for him almost. Because of the, I think it's the sunglasses on the back of the of the head and the lack uh, of... Yeah. Uh, the lack of moving forward in style. And he looks he like wants Smash to take Mouth. You to Flavor Town. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody once said he looks like if a plate of nachos was a person. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good description. Is, yeah. <laughs> Which color would you wear to stand out while cooking? Yellow. Oh. Yellow's not on there. <gasps> Son of a There's bitch. A green. They There's don't know. Like green, green, pink, green, black, red, or purple. Red. Red. Okay. I chose. I chose. Ooh, I'm uh, already Amber Rell. She loves red. Green. Okay. I'll go with red. blue. This is a nice bright blue. I love Different. yellow. And then yellow what quality color. of yours will help in your competition? Trying hard, <laughs> multitasking, creativity, selling, conniving, or confidence? Oh, it's either creativity or multitasking. Ooh, what if I'm being creative in my multitasking? It fits so many things. Creativity. Creativity? Okay. All That's right. a creative answer. I, so. I chose <laughs> confidence. It. Because I'm pretty good at being blindly confident. Uh, confidence? <laughs> confidence. I'm going to go with multitasking. Then I think I can do more than one thing at, at one at one time. Is your computer a touch screen? <laughs> yeah, it is. Ooh. Ooh. Fancy. All right, I'll do mine. What I got? I got chopped as my as mine. Ah. You have a tough crowd to please, but you can do it. You are so creative. It comes in handy here. All you right. are creative. Creative. I have trouble speaking <laughs> on this podcast. Uh, if you listen to Jenny Zagrino episode, Whoa. she makes fun of me. <laughs> she does. I love Jenny. She so points out that he has a learning guy. disability. Asked me if I had a learning disability. That's awesome. <laughs> but then she but she positive spun it and said it would help him because you know people are really looking for comics with yeah. learning disabilities now. <laughs> <laughs> What's yours? I got the next Food Network star. Oh, yeah. You so can, you you're ready to show your chops to Giada and Bobby. No, Those like are the judges? Mm-hmm. Ooh, I don't know. They both kind of scare me. Uh, you could be the next Guy Fieri is what it says. All right. Do you want to guess what you think you're going to be? Uh, I think I'm going to get spiky hair, hedgehog lady. I forgot her name. 
Oh, but what's her show? You got to pick a show. Uh, what's worst Cooks in on? America. You think you get Worst, <laughs> worst Cooks in America? in America? I'm excited about this. You got the great food truck race. I think you got the best oh, answer. I love that show. Yeah. Great show. I love that show. That's what started this whole Food Network Netflix binge I've been on was that show. So you need more than just amazing food to win this one. You are social and really know how to market yourself and totally your food. I could totally do that. Good I'm work. I'm a good marketer I think you would quiz, not only be on it, you would win. The now, quiz just think. congratulated you on taking the quiz. It said good work. <laughs> it didn't congratulate me. Didn't Thank congratulate you. It was like, you need to go to another competition. It was like, like, no. It's like, you're not very good at cooking, Mike. Why are you taking this quiz? That's what the quiz said to me. <laughs> it's good stuff. Are you ready for the... Uh, but that was a quick quiz. It was a short okay, one. Quick so we quiz. add another one. This one is completely unrelated. Uh, mm -hmm. Which cheap American beer are you? <laughs> I don't really drink beer. Don't drink I beer? like whiskey. So this is going to be... I do too, but this is going to be interesting Neat. then. Okay. Whiskey really, neat. We got I have a Bud saying, Light tattoo. If you want, um, for your reward for finishing the podcast, I could soak the other half in that croissant in bullet rye whiskey. Would you like that? No. Would you like that? <laughs> that is the appropriate answer. No. Okay. Why would you ruin whiskey? <laughs> no. With butter. Or croissants. <laughs> uh, first thing you got to do, first mm -hmm. question, is you got to pick a thing to eat. And the options are buffalo wings, no, nachos, a barbecue platter, no. cheese Holy fries, fuck, a pizza, Ooh. a bacon cheeseburger, a cheesesteak, a hot dog, chili, or a lobster roll. I would go with the buffalo wings, but they are boneless. Oh, oh, I chose buffalo pretty. wings too. Are there the cauliflower buffalo wings at Sage? Because I love that. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go. Oh, man. I'm going to go nachos. I'm a big fan. Nachos of are pretty good. You chose buffalo nachos. wings. Because oh, I love oh, chili oh, Achilles, which are like breakfast nachos. Yes. I'm going to take. I'm gonna pick a different one since you chose buffalo wings. Chili gonna, Achilles I is I like love my cheese favorite. fries. I love cheese I fries. I like them with uh, bacon and then oh, sour man. cream and green onions. Like, my guilty pleasure is if I'm if I've drank a lot is Jack in the Box uh, bacon cheddar potato wedges Ooh. with sour cream. You gotta ask for the sour cream. You gotta ask for that extra. You gotta ask for that. It's like fifty cents extra, but worth it. You're Are you worth ready it. for the next question? <laughs> yes. Pick a rock band: Guns and Roses, Aerosmith, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, The Strokes, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Foo Fighters. White Stripes, there's so many answers to this one. Can I Van see it? Halen, oh, yeah. Metallica, okay. ZZ Top, Red Hot Chili Peppers, or Wilco? I well, chose... It's never, it's never Red Hot Chili Peppers. It's <laughs> that's gross. What, that's what I chose. That's how that was my high school band I would listen to all the time. Um, I would go with the White Stripes, much to the disappointment of my husband who loves Metallica. And when you walk into our apartment, there's a giant-ass Wilco uh -oh. Poster because it's like, hey, you're walking into White Town. <laughs> Welcome to White Town. That's awesome. I pick like a devil egg. <laughs> <laughs> it's made with mayonnaise. <laughs> Delicious m -m 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 mayonnaise. <laughs> All right. Choose a sport. Well, I hope I swimming is a thing. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers right. that's, that's honestly good. the most. What's your, what sport know. do you want to choose, Jen? Is swimming available? Ooh. I don't see swimming. NASCAR, fuck you. Whoa. Fuck you, quiz. <laughs> college football, NFL football, baseball, hockey, college Those basketball. Those are two NBA basketballs. Basketball. <laughs> I know. WWE wrestling, which isn't a sport. NASCAR, UFC, or soccer? Uh, I guess hockey. Hockey's a great you could, sport. You could, you could fuck someone up. I'm going to choose NFL football. Because I like to see people. People beat the like shit out of each other. I like Canada well, hockey. I, I chose NFL football. Uh, NFL football. I'm <laughs> basketball or something. Well, yeah, but there's two options. I definitely pay more attention to the NBA right now, but I still like college basketball better. I'm going college. I'll go right. college. Don loves the NBA, and his uh, dad is actually. He's your team now, Don. Really? Okay. I'm going San Antonio. So we He chose Dallas Mavericks. Problems. You guys couldn't get that in the mic. Just so you know. His, uh, but it his, sounded like Dallas Mavericks. That's his what it dad like. has like the <laughs> oldest known uh, fantasy football team in existence. It started in the, like, the 70s. Whoa. Or the 60s. What? 70s. Oldest. Next, yeah. next question. Very related to beers. You got to pick a cool dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one's got a bad Deanna. Oh, that was how is that one giving two th two peace signs? How did you get this That's many hard. dogs to wear sunglasses? Yeah, I know. What do you guys get to um, choose? I like we have a schnauzer, and that one looks like a schnauzer in the bottom left hand corner. So that's really tough. But I love French bulldogs. And that one looks kind of like he's just chilling in the the bottom right hand corner with, and he looks like a cat, like he's <laughs> hiding, like he's technically. I think that one's a cat. I'm gonna go with cat dog. Cat dog on cat the bottom dog. right. Yeah. I picked the uh, pug with the peace signs. Mm. No, going, that is a French bulldog. I'm sir. going the fancy one with the with the scarf. Ooh, you what kind of dog would that be? Character. Do you know what kind of dog that is? Um, 
No, no. Akimbo. Is that a dog or is that a band? <laughs> I'm just dogs and bands all the time. You guys going to see Chihuahua later? It's <laughs> also all phone phone region of Mexico. Guest. Why is it a town? All right, choose a Simpsons character. Uh, Homer, Bart, Lisa, Barney. My Lenny, dad Carl, calls me the Lisa Mo, of Edna, our family. Krusty. Pam and me and Selma, Millhouse or Nelson? I'm going to go Lisa. Lisa? Oh, oh, there's more. Oh, sorry. Oh, Nelson's cool, too. You want Nelson or Lisa? No, Lisa. Lisa? That's a good pick. I don't even remember what this was for. <laughs> I think I'm going to go... What American beer you are? Oh, you the go, beer? Are with, Why are they using minors to pick? promote beer? I one yet. Ugh. Technically, they're of age at this point think- since it was made in 1989. I, I don't know. I think Millhouse might be my favorite character. I'm going to go with Bart, then. Choose a shot. Choose Ooh, a shot. Is it the birthday cake shot? Oh. You don't shoot Irish whiskey. You don't. That is not a shot. This is a fucked up quiz. What's a pickleback? Pickle is also not a shot. That? It's like a chaser that you take. You and just take a shot. You don't of taste anything. Like after. or something. Yeah. You chase Which is pickle juice. juice. Well, never, ever, ever fireball. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go with bourbon. Bourbon? Mm hmm. It's a good one. I will go. I'll take you guys. Uh, what about Jello shots. Oh, wow. Yeah. What? We should go I'm to Tam O'Shanty's sometime. Like it's like a hundred year old restaurant, Scottish theme. I took Kevin Addison there, and it's just like a shit ton of whiskey. Let's and go. And they do right r- uh, Welsh rarebit, which is like this uh, cheese sauce, and these uh, Yorkshire pudding, which is really like a, yeah. a bread roll that's just a popover. Yeah. <gasps> so good. Yeah. And, it's like all the ladies Tell have to wear all the ladies have to wear plaid tartan things with like kind of like breasts showing, which I don't like that. What's it called? Uh, Tam O'Shanties. Mm. Mm, it's very good. I like that means something. Like, hmm. Oh, final, <laughs> that's probably why their boobs are out. You got to oh. choose a snack. Are salt and vinegar chips on there? Yep. Mm-hmm. Top, mm-hmm. Top right. that's, a, that's a nice brand too. What uh, else do you get? The options are sour cream and onion, cheese balls, salt and vinegar chips, nacho cheese Doritos, buttered popcorn, cool ranch Doritos, pretzels, regular potato chips, or barbecue potato chips. Those Zaps barbecue potato chips are the best barbecue potato chip, in my opinion, too. Strong You really know opinions. To... Salt and vinegar chips, please. Salt and vinegar chips. I'm going to go with sour cream and onion. You know what? That's, I think we've... You can't I'm, talk to I'm people go eat those. Salt and vinegar as well. It's actually my favorite, other than ketchup chips. Oh, sure. We all got different beers. So you guys Perfect. Know. I got... Miller High Life, the champagne of beers. You're chill and unpretentious, but also somehow sort of elegant, is what it says about uh-huh. me. Is that, <laughs> I, did, I don't I think do. anyone thought that was elegant. Like, the queen's coming, give her! The champagne of beers! <laughs> You're up the High Life! I've also never described you as elegant, but maybe I should. You should. Yeah. Uh, I haven't... I'm elegant now with his new tootsies. My new tootsies. Yeah, yeah, you're spreading tootsies. eagle when you show those. It's kind of creepy. New tootsies. <laughs> my tootsies. <laughs> I don't think I've told anybody, but in high school, my last name that I went by because I didn't want to be embarrassed and made fun of like my dad was, was Miller, my stepdad's last name. Really? Which was oh. fine until those damn commercials came out and people would be like, it's Miller time. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, it's Miller time, which is better Miller than time. being called yeah, semen time, time. Yeah, it's which just sounds like a horrible it's porno. semen time. Hey, like, hey. Ah, there's a hose of dick. Hey. Time. Did Jen yeah. join the Navy? Ah, yeah, <laughs> positive twist. Good job, Mike. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> What's yours, Monica? Rolling Rock. Yeah. You're friendly and easygoing and know how to create a relaxed environment. I'd say I'm pretty relaxed. No, yeah. I'm friendly. My favorite, this is my favorite thing you've got. You're Milwaukee's best. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell that is. It's a know, shitty best, beer. What's it look like? <laughs> oh, that looks... Isn't that the guy who... like? Uh, with the sideburns and the trucker hat? <laughs> Probably. The description's pretty Sounds great. about, yeah. What is it? Your description is, you party hard. Do I? And often. <laughs> Do you I? You never Do go it. halfway on anything. <laughs> Maybe with comedy, but I don't think I party hard. Like, it's usually my husband and I, I get home, and I'm like, pajamas, matching pajamas? Let's do this. Matching pajamas and whiskey and Excuse couch Excuse me, time. it's past Yay! 6 p.m., and we don't have pajamas. Dude, I, I feel pretty good about this happening. right now, though, because I love it when the quiz doesn't get the person at all. <laughs> it's completely <laughs> off. That's my favorite. Oh, when Jenny was on here, her city she got that we did a quiz about going to visit a city like what's your ideal city to visit mm-hmm. and she got I think Miami and she was <laughs> so mad yes yeah, so she was really upset about it she's so like funny. I've been there oh my god yeah, she's I, don't, I don't think she's a Florida gal <laughs> uh, we gotta do charities we're almost out of time Monica oh mm, perfect so you, you, you got your charity ready or do you wanna have Jen go first Jen go first oh. 
Speaking of Alton Brown earlier, yeah. uh, this is how I found out about my favorite charity, and it's Heifer International. And what they do is um, you can choose how much you'd like to donate, and each donation uh, helps different families uh, to be, become economically stable. And you can choose to give somebody a flock of geese or a hive of bees, or you can even do women empowerment um, workshops for women so that they can That's become awesome. stabilized and be able to like self sufficient type yeah, thing. Yeah, it's providing amazing. Them with the materials to do so. Yeah, That's I, awesome. It's usually what I donate to if, around the holidays. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. That's a great charity. Mm-hmm. That's an awesome there was one. another one like that where that I did on the podcast like when we started. That was like a. A loan, like you give someone a loan to start their business in yeah. another country, and then they pay you back. So yeah, you're it's like a microfinancing yeah, type of thing. Yeah, yeah. that's great. This is great. That's like, like one that. of the top ways to mm-hmm. really help someone else. I think. But yeah. you teaching a person to fish. That's what you yeah. said earlier. It's very. Uh, it is Black History Month, so I figured I would find some of the best charities uh, around diversity. So first one, Consortium for Graduate Studies and Management, and what they do is promote diversity and inclusion just in American business in general. It's very important. Let's do All it. Right. That's a long title. Yeah. <laughs> Consortium for Graduate Studies in Management. All right. I like Graduate it. Graduate Studies in Management. In. It's got a very high rating. That's why I like it. I like it. I'm typing it out right now, and it's taking a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one yeah well, you're using <laughs> you one hand. I'll yeah. save it up. That's good. Uh, cool. Well, that's the podcast, you guys. We did it. Yay. Do you feel, feel good? Do we feel good? I feel I good. Do you care. feel like you, if you drank beer, you'd know you'd start with Milwaukee's Best? Is that what you feel now? Ooh, I think uh, Don's dad has this thing where the second he sits down, he'll, ye- he'll yell, uh, emergency IPA. <laughs> so I that's feel awesome. like... If I were to That's start drinking beer, That's the key to a beer, successful marriage. I, I would have to do that. <laughs> Emergency IPA. Yeah, that's what Don's dad does, and he's hilarious to bring um, to pub quizzes because he will he'll drink a few and then he'll start yelling Manusha, but he'll do it like if he's coughing, like if he doesn't like a question and he thinks it's just lame, he'll be like Manusha. <laughs> <laughs> like what is happening so here? We need to hang out with Don's dad. Oh yeah, right? Don's dad's a cool <laughs> kid. I think I'm here right now. Hang out with Don's dad. The cool dad. sixty-two. 61 you should probably know how old your dad is <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. he's out there somewhere that's great thank you for Everybody, being yeah, on the podcast so yeah thank you for having me mm-hmm. and for the croissant yeah you yeah, the other welcome half? I think now I really want to get baking cheddar potato which is a oh, sour cream yeah. oh my god I feel like I did a good job I'm gonna go buy it's some gonna go to buy thighs Amazon. oh yeah just so you get, can sleep better <laughs> Just get Lady Speed Stick, I'm telling you. Speed Stick. Yeah. Add a hole. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.